So today we are going to talk about DNA, arguably the most important thing when we talk about genetics. Okay, so in this presentation I'm going to tell you what DNA stands for, why we even care about it, where we find it, kind of all of the basics behind DNA so we can truly get this crazy important molecule. All right, so the first thing is like, well, what is it, right? So what DNA really is, is it's the genetic material that carries all the information about an organism. So here's what I mean by that. I mean, in your DNA, it tells you, do you have brown hair, do you have brown eyes, are you tall, are you short? It also lets you know about like what's going on inside your brain. Are you artistic? Are you really good at math? Do you think quickly? Are you funny? Um, but then on the flip side, it also unfortunately is responsible for a lot of our diseases, right? And so I'm not gonna list them all, but ultimately in our DNA it lets us know if we're more susceptible to get certain types of cancers or other diseases um, and so on and so forth. So like our DNA, is not just brown eyes and brown hair and so on and so forth. It is literally everything about us is inside this molecule. It tells us everything, okay? It is insanely important. So what makes us us is our DNA. But I wanna also point this out, like a sheep has DNA and a worm has DNA and a banana has DNA, okay? So when we look at different organisms, the reason that we and the sheep look different and act different and have different features is literally just because we both have strips of DNA and our DNA is just different. Our DNA says make us a human, their DNA says make us a sheep. This DNA says make us a banana, okay? We are actually half banana as far as our DNA is concerned. We have about half the DNA that is exactly the same as a banana because we do a lot of the similar things as far as growing and reproducing and having cells and so on and so forth. Okay, so the reason I love this slide is because a lot of times we think that we're special, um, but we're not. Okay, we have DNA like everyone else and, um, and we're all related in, in some sort of capacity, which is what I love. All right, so now, this is what it stands for. Listen carefully, because you can't learn about DNA and not know how to actually say what it stands for, okay? So, it is deoxyribonucleic acid. You put it all together, deoxyribonucleic acid. So make sure you play that a couple times and make sure that you are able to say deoxyribonucleic acid. All right? All right, so our DNA is millions and millions and millions of letters long. Okay, and I'll explain what I mean when I say letters in just a second, but it is this crazy long molecule, okay? And if we look closely, it's made up of only four letters, which is kind of crazy that the reason that we look different than a banana Okay, it's because our DNA is different. It all has to do with just these four letters. So basically what makes us and a banana and a sheep and a worm and everyone so different is just that we have letters in a different order. Okay, the same way when you read a book that the reason that this book is different from this book is because there's words that are in different orders. They mean different things. Okay, it's the same thing. Our DNA basically comes together to make words that make us different. So there's only four letters. So let's talk about those four letters for just a second. So the first thing is I just want you to know what they stand for. Okay, so A stands for adenine, that's how you say it. G stands for guanine, T stands for thymine, and C stands for cytosine, okay? The main thing you're gonna see you need to know is really how they go together, but I do want you to know what they stand for as well. So, let me show you this. So this is a G and that's supposed to be a, a blurry cat back there. So if you can remember this phrase here, G cat, it is going to help you a lot with understanding how the bases come together. So here's what I mean, G and C, always pair together. Guanine and cytosine are always best friends, okay? You will never see G paired with A. They're like puzzle pieces. G is always across from a C, and A is always across from a T. They're the only puzzle pieces that fit that way. Okay, say G, C, A, T. That's like the rule of DNA. Now, so now that you know that they're all just arranged in certain orders, like that's the main thing. And there are other parts of DNA that you will maybe discover at a higher level. There's like phosphate and sugar and hydrogen bonds and things like that. Um, but for now, the main thing that I would like you to know is just that there's guanine always pairs with cytosine, cytosine, adenine always pairs with thymine, and just the way they're ordered is really the reason that we're all so different, okay? So here's some other things that I want you to know as well. So where do you find it, right? DNA is in our body, but where? So what's really cool is that if you I don't know, go like this. Inevitably, you're gonna have some cells that probably fall off you, okay? You can look at any single cell in your body, pretty much, and inside it is your entire code for who you are, okay? So that could be a tongue cell, it could be a cheek cell, a heart cell, a stomach cell, it doesn't matter, every cell is gonna have it. 
And where it is, is in, inside the nucleus of the cell. A lot of times you'll hear the nucleus called the brain of the cell. And that's the main idea why it's called the brain is because it has all the information that makes us us. Inside the nucleus, inside the center of the cell is where you're gonna find all that DNA. The second thing is DNA has this kind of cool little shape to it. It looks like a twisted ladder. So it actually has an official name. So I want you to also know this. It's called a double helix. It just has to do with this whole twisty ladder shape. That's the shape of DNA. And the last thing I just have to tell you about is these scientists who are completely associated with DNA. So I want you to know who they are. There's three main scientists that really are credited with discovering that how DNA is shaped. So there is this woman named Rosalind Franklin, and she's the woman who basically took a picture of DNA, which kind of looked like that. And then these two guys, Watson and Crick, usually they're called by a last name, they're the ones who are able to look at this picture and are smart enough to realize, oh, it means the DNA must be shaped like this and discovered it, um, how it's all shaped. So you got Franklin, Watson, and Crick are these three really famous scientists, all right? So that's, that's it, that's the basics of DNA for you. So let me just kind of recap, okay? So it's found in the nucleus, okay? It makes us us, it makes us different from all other organisms. There's four main bases, G, C, A, and T. G always goes with C, A always goes with T, and um, the way you pronounce it is deoxyribonucleic acid. All right, thank you for watching.